Hey YouTube, this is Got Next Gaming with another episode of Alfred Russo Road to the Show in MLB 15 The Show. Uh, you can see I'm going to sim through some games here uh, before we get on through because I can't play every game of the season. It'll get kind of monotonous and boring and I'll lose interest in it and then I won't be able to bring you these great episodes that I keep putting together and spending my time editing and cutting and all of that good stuff and voiceover and recording and everything else. Uh, we're going to get into some action here with that right now. As we can see, we're going to play the Tennessee Smokies. We are 3-2. and two. They are 4-1. and one. And this should be pretty good as we get into it. We just got to wait for Alf to show up here and see what he's going to do for today. Uh, in recording this, we're going to see the lineups. The starting lineups, and, and there's Al batting fourth again as usual. And he's going to step in for the first time. He's batting 263 so far in the uh, young season. I simmed through some of those games. I guess he wasn't hitting too well while I was simming. Uh, some of the you know bumps you're going to have to take there while you're doing it, though. Because, like I said, I can't play every single game. But he's going to swing at the first pitch, and he's going to pop that one up foul over to the right side. And right fielder's going to snag that one for the out. And that'll do for Allen. This one he gets a poor at bat. But at least he gets a point for that one, right? That's a... That's pretty good, you know. You get a you get a one pitch out, and then boom, you get to, you still get a point. Here's his second at bat in the game, and he's gonna watch that one go foul as he takes a late swing at that. He's 0-2 here with no outs and a runner on in the top of the third. We're down 3-2 to these guys. That one was there right on the edge, and uh, looks like he got a uh, favorable call on that one. It could have been strike three looking, but uh, they call it a ball. And uh, that, that pitch is up there, 99 miles an hour. It's fast. It's uh, hard to catch up to. If a little behind that one, I probably would have fouled it off as well. But we're going to get the pitcher to give us another one here, and uh, hopefully we can do something solid with it. And there's a hit right back through the middle, past the pitcher, into center field, and that'll be a base hit. And the runner will advance. Get Pick up 17 points for that with a solid contact. And here comes the manager uh, for a chat. With this pitcher. And it is third, Al's third at bat. As he takes the first one for a strike right down the middle, 98 miles an hour. Still pretty solid there with the with the speed. It's up there high. He's he's still throwing strong. Uh, two outs, one on here at first. We got an 0-1 count. Pitcher's gonna deal. And Al takes a hit on that one. It's a shortstop, and they're going to get the force out at second, and that's going to end the inning. We've got 11 points for the solid contact. But here we are through five, and it's three to two. They step in for a little field action here as they're going to turn the double play. And, yes, they do turn the double play. Great fielding out there. Pick up five points for the force out. Cut out a lot of the uh, opportunities in the field. I must get, I don't know, about ten of them a game, and they just get monotonous because it's just over and over it's the same thing and uh, I throw one in once in a while especially like the double plays because those are pretty cool watching them turn to double play but uh, here's Al again up at uh, up at bat there and he's got a 2-0 count on him he's got a nice favorable hitters count here with uh, one out and nobody on the top of the eighth the uh, Blue Wahoos are down by two and four to two to the Smokies and Medrano is still pitching here. He's going to talk to the catcher for a little bit. He's going to try to settle him down and say, hey, you know, you got 100 pitches there in the game. This guy ain't done nothing against you yet. Don't worry about it. Let's go in there and get him. There's the pitch, and it's in there again, 99 miles an hour, a little up in the zone. Uh, but I was going to lay off that one. <clears throat> and he's still throwing that heat in there uh, for late in the game with 100 pitches under his belt. And I was going to take that one and rope it right back through the middle and uh, into center field for a base hit. And uh, he's looking more like a singles hitter than a power hitter here today. But picking up 17 points with the attributes, uh, for the attribute points later on to hit on and develop them a little bit better. We're going to see a little base running action here. We're going to get a hit right through the middle and I was going to move on up to second. <clears throat> he's going to advance with the hit. And that's good stuff. These are the scary ones for a pitcher. This is going to give you a pretty good angle right here because this ball You can see this one go so boom, right past the pitcher's head. Right nice. I mean, Almost took his head off with that waiting. one. And the game's going to end up, and the Blue Wahoos are going to lose it 4-2. to Al had a decent game, pit, yeah, hitting 2-4. for four. Uh, No runs, no home runs, no RBIs, anything like that. 
But here you'll see the, the player of the game in this one. <clears throat> Enrique Ojeda from the Smokies. And uh, that'll do it for this game. And Al had himself a decent game. It was all right. You know, two for four is batting 500. Solid thing right there. But you want to drive in the runs. You want to get those hits that matter. When a bat clutch. That's what the, the scouts are going to notice when it comes down to this stuff uh, in playing this. You want to you wanna impress this way. You can move up quickly. Get the fast track to the to the show, as they call it. You know? Um, I think we're going to get a, a twofer in here. If I'm not mistaken, we're going to get another game in. Because uh, we were, because uh, that was a pretty quick one. You'll see uh, out there, I'll get 84 points for training, which we will use later on. And here you're going to see a message from the general manager. If you have any concerns about playing time, your role with the team, any other issue comes up during that, you can go on and hear the interactions and uh, hit up the manager. There'll be other things that pop up later on as you go through the career as well. And uh, there's that locker room performance evaluator. As you can see, uh, my uh, sliders in the middle there are starting to go up with contact and discipline. That's a good sign right there. Uh, shows I'm doing well with that. And you can see the uh, swinging late is going down uh, as well. We're going to get into here and do some attribute points as well. Figure out this in for you guys. You can see uh, where I'm placing those points uh, for training to build up the the, the skills here of, of Alfred Russo, the young Alfred Russo. Uh, like I said, who was modeled after, after my pops. And he was a tremendous baseball player himself. Could really hit a ball pretty good. Um... And probably could have been pro. Uh, I was talking to uh, one of his close friends uh, about this, and he was kind of proud of me doing this series after my dad with a video game because, like, my dad loved video games as well, too. But uh, he was telling me about how uh, he he almost quit high school because they wouldn't let him play football because my dad loved sports. He was just a, a big, huge sports fanatic. But you can see we had all those attribute points in and uh, got ourselves up to a good 53 overall. And we're going to slide on into the next game, I believe. And I was going to bat fourth there as well. You know, we talk about how my dad loved video games and everything else. And I love them too. And that's why I'm doing this. Uh, I love to play video games. I wanted to share with you guys here uh, what I can do. You see Al batting fourth. We're going to get to Al's first at bat here. Um, and this is a hobby for me. I mean, I have a full-time job. And uh, I have a daughter who's two years old. So there's not a lot of time to, to do this kind of stuff. Although I've been trying very to be very diligent about editing and filming and recording and whatever else and and doing all the voiceover uh for this uh to get it to you guys because like i said i just enjoy doing it. it's a hobby but i want to hear your comments and i want to hear your feedback uh, i want to get better at this i want to really make this enjoyable i want to make this entertaining uh as much as i i, I love playing it i want you guys to love watching it um you see al here he's gonna swing away and he's gonna be down 0-2 with two outs and a, and a runner on in his first at bat in this game against the Smokies. <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, you know, like I said, your comments, whatever you guys got to say, I want to hear it. Um, I just love playing games and always have. And my dad was passionate about it. And he always was amazed by how the technology would come along and, and how realistic these games would start looking uh, year after year after year, how more and more realistic they get. You see Alan a second at bat and he... Ropes one to center field for a base hit there. And the runner will come home to score, and he will pick up the base hit with an RBI. And that's what he's supposed to be doing, guys. He's supposed to be driving in runs. I mean, no, that's what that's what we're building up here, right? I mean, come on, Dad. Show what you got. And we'll see how to step in again for his third at-bat in this game. And the dynamic difficulties now to a veteran with a couple of progress plus-pluses there. And uh, he'll just... Uh, Line that one to second base, and the second baseman will be right there to haul it on in, but he'll still get six points for training. You see that come in, and he hits a little bit late on that one, and he goes right to the second baseman. I mean, it was a pretty hard shot, and he had a kind of reach to grasp that one. I think it uh, took his glove with him a little bit, too, but, you know, that's that power we're talking about. So here we are with nobody on and uh, no outs, and it's uh, now a 1-1 one -one count. After he takes the strike, we're going to see what the pitcher has to offer up to us here. And hopefully we can do something with it and show a little something. That one's going to be way outside. Change up 88 miles an hour, and it's going to go to 2-1. <clears throat> and the uh, Blue Wahoos are down 2-1, to one, speaking of which, here in the top of the eighth inning. And Al hopefully can come through and 
do something big here. But nope, he's going to kind of just hack away at that one as he chops at it. And that's, uh, that was definitely ball three, but that's okay. It's now strike two, so it's two, two with nobody out. One on at first. And he will hack away at that one and it'll go foul to the right side as he was uh, a little bit behind on that one. We're going to wait for the pitcher to deal. And he'll pop that one up. And it looks like it's shallow right. And it is. And the second baseman actually goes back to pick that one up. And that'll be an out. Six pitch at bat. So he picks up six points for training. Not the greatest stuff, but that's all right. Didn't have the greatest game as the Blue Owls drop another one to the Smokies, which are a pretty uh, solid team here. And I'll go one for four in that one. Uh, and he's definitely not going to get the player of the game for this. But the... Uh, the uh, winning side and the uh, opponents, uh, Felipe Espinoza's pitcher, their pitcher will definitely get the player of the game on that one. So that's it for this episode, folks. We had two games in this one, and now it looks like he's kind of struggling after those two hot games where he hit a couple home runs. But, you know, he's a minor leaguer, and he's young, and he's trying to learn, and he'll get there eventually. Picks up 75 points for training. We'll have to put that into our attributes. But thank you again for stopping by. Please show your support by hitting that like button and subscribing, and I will see you guys next time.